Uh, a heartwarming pup date to pass along. So here's how it went down. We came in one morning and Crystal has a puppy. <laughs> and she <laughs> says the puppy followed her into the 12 News studio and it, uh, it hung out here all day long, Crystal, right? It was pretty much here all day as she worked to try to get it into the right place and back to its owner. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Crystal quickly made friends with our new pup. And the entire morning show crew. There we go, some video. So it turns out her time wandering the streets has thankfully come to an end. And it's all thanks to the right people coming together to find her a loving new home. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks joining us live this morning from Maricopa County Animal Care and Control in Phoenix with some pretty exciting details. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I was so sad to see that that pup had been uh, wandering the streets near Van Buren and Second Street. But of course, our friend Crystal took great care of that dog that has now been adopted as well as the rest of our crew. So you're going to see in those photos and videos that we took uh, in the 12 News studio. Definitely great care behind the scenes. And that dog has now been adopted by a Valley family, uh, first named Bella, when she got here at the Maricopa County Animal Care and Control with this team, and then now renamed Olive with her new family. So let's take a look at some of the video that we got from Desiree. Uh, and you can see she is definitely enjoying life. Uh, the community outreach team here hooked them up and they quickly adopted her. Uh, so again, Crystal's hard work along with our 12 News Today and AZ team, uh, making sure, you know, she was thirsty, she was hungry, but they took care of her. And unfortunately, she wasn't wearing a collar. That vet said uh, that she didn't have a microchip, unlike a lot of the dogs that are here. And just uh, unfortunately, folks can't maintain the dog. So they do end up, they make sure and uh, they're in good hands here. So she was adopted. I love this video here. You can see her playing out on the grass. A bit of a different story from that video that we saw with her and at uh, the Today Daisy studio. So she is doing great. Fortunately, she found a forever home and uh, that's not the case for every pup that winds up here. So joining us live this morning is Gina Martino and you have a little friend here. Uh, this is Luigi. This is Luigi and he's five years old and he's one of those dogs that had a microchip but unfortunately the primary owner couldn't maintain him and we couldn't get a hold of the people that they rehomed him to. Oh, and he's so sweet. You can tell a little bit. Uh, sorry for the bright lights there, Luigi, waking him up early this morning, but you said when the doors open, these pups are all awake. You can see them peeking their, their eyes through the windows here. A heartbreaking story, definitely overcrowded this time of year. We are overcrowded and that's actually a national story. Almost everybody's overcrowded. Our destination shelters that we normally work with to get more pets out of here, they're they're overcrowded. So what we're trying to do is get the community involved. We need uh, donations, please. We need volunteers. We have 300. We'd love 300 more. We need advocates to help dogs like Luigi get a home. So um, yeah, anything the community wants to do, we're game. Give us a call. We would love your help. And what kind of family would be good for Luigi? I mean, Luigi is so sweet. So Luigi has a really soft mouth. He's nice and gentle here. Watch him take a treat like that. Um, he's awesome on the leash. He appears to be potty trained. He asked me to take him outside before he was on live. <laughs> he TV. sure did. He approached the camera. He's great. So he might be great with kids. He might be great in a, in a only dog home. We don't know how he is with other dogs. But maybe if you're retired and you want to take Luigi for a walk, don't tell him. But he probably could use a little exercise. Uh, he's about five years old and all of our adoption fees right now including puppies and kittens they're 25 dollars and that includes the spay the neuter the microchip the vaccinations you name it come on down when people come in looking for a dog what's kind of that common reaction that you see is it tears is it oh i feel so bad or is it i just want to do what i can to help well it's a number it's all of those things plus oh my gosh i didn't know you guys were here so we would love help advocating that there's all these pets down here that need that home if you just make it down to the shelter or tell us where you are and we'll help get pets out into the community. We'd love to get them adopted. Uh, overwhelming is probably a word I would use because again we have about 600 pets right now that can go home today. So how do you choose, right? Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for raising awareness. Coming up in the 6.30 half hour, we're going to talk about how dangerously full the shelters are right now and really how busy they typically get around the 4th of July, plus how you can help. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Trisha Hendricks, Today in AZ.